on Tuesday is the first. But before we come to the first, we are going to be here tomorrow night. Uh, we're going to open the door by eight. I want to give us one hour to just see the face of God, to talk to God about the year that is coming. If you have not had your plans for the year, if you have not written your goals, your vision for 2019, please don't, don't delay in doing that. Get a, a writing material and write your goals, your long-term goals that you want to realize at the end of the year, your middle, you know, in between, like maybe middle of the year, you want to realize this. And short term goals that you want to realize, maybe daily, monthly, weekly. That you're going to just be referring to, set an alarm for once a month to visit those goals. These are the goals financially. These are my goals in my marriage. These are my goals concerning my children. These are my goals concerning my business. These are my goals concerning my spiritual life. Write them down. Our God says, write it, make it plain. It's time to do that because if you don't do that, there won't be anything to check with to see how you are doing. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It's good to live a life that has vision, that has goals. Don't just live your life anyhow, any which way. Whatever comes, that's what I'll do. Write things down and check with yourself. Or you can make yourself accountable by getting a friend of yours to check with you how you doing. And that will help you to stay on track. So that this time next year, you will look back and say, wow, this can only be the finger of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So tomorrow you come at eight, begin to commit those goals to God. I said that to say this. That begin to commit those goals to God. Begin to talk to God about that. Um, you cannot achieve any of these things without God backing you up. So God, I want you to do this for me. I want you to help me with this. I want you to I'm in this segment. You know, do that for one hour, then we want to start praise and worship by nine. Uh, maybe I don't know what the program is like again, but you know, we start the proper service by nine and then we flow from there till about half twelve when we're going to close for the day. And then at seven on the first of uh, January, which is going to be uh, Tuesday, 7 p.m., I'd like you to please let us come together. We're going to have covenant of life and then covenant of, I think, victory and something. Uh, the people that are going to help us with those covenants are already aware. So, two covenants per day. God is the covenant keeping God. He doesn't break his word. But you, there is need for you to commit yourself, to rededicate yourself, to remind God of those covenants. So, we're going to be here on the first seven to about half eight. Uh, till, uh, the following the Wednesday, 7 till about half 8, and then Thursday, 7 till about half 8, thereabouts. Probably, depending, we will be finished about that, but I will try both tracks, which is possible to, to bring everything together for those two hours. So, we are going to be meeting for three days to go through those covenants covenant of abundance, covenant of joy, of peace, of favor. We need all these things to work for us in 2019. So, please let us make sure that we are part of this covenant prayers. And also, next Sunday is our uh, annual Thanksgiving. Do you want to just look back and see what God has done for you over the years, particularly in 2018, and you want to come to God with Thanksgiving. So uh, we'll be wearing our gaily. If you have gaily, <laughs> you will have wearing your heavy duty hats. If it's hats you're going to be going for. If it's suit, you know, make sure it's three piece. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just to remind you, we just dress consciously to the glory of God. We're going to dance, we're going to sing, and then we're going to enter to the covenant of gratitude. That is what covenant God said we should enter into that. Through the year, we're going to be grateful to God. So as a church, we're going to enter into the covenant of gratitude as we find God together. And then we know that this year will not be like any other year for any one of us. It's going to be better, it's going to be far more impactful in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray one last prayer for yourself as you go. Please open to the book Isaiah chapter 1, chapter 64, verses 1 and 2. 
Isaiah chapter 64, verses 1 and 2. We use the verse 1 to pray, pray the minister's prayer meeting. I want us to use verse 2, but I read them together for you to have a bigger understanding. It says, Oh, that thou wouldest spread the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that thy mountain flow down at thy presence. As when the mountain of fire burneth, if fire causes the waters to boil, to make known thy name to thy adversaries. You want God to show your adversary. Let me tell you your adversaries. Poverty, sickness, stagnation, disappointment, rejection. Those are your adversaries. You want to say, Father, show yourself as the Almighty to all my enemies before this year is over in the mighty name of Jesus Christ show yourself as the almighty reveal yourself as the almighty to all my adversaries to everything that has been limiting me in life reveal yourself as the almighty to failure to stagnation to poverty to sickness to rejection to Lord reveal yourself as the almighty in the of Jesus Christ, you are the Almighty. There is nothing you cannot do. Show my enemies that you are God in the name of Jesus Christ. Show all my enemies that you are God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show all my enemies, oh God, that you are God. That no powers belong to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show sickness, show poverty, show lack, show disappointment, show failure, show stagnation in the name of Jesus.
Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus. Oh, and Jesus.